first. This is First Alert Weather. Rainy and dreary, says Neville Miller. Just kind of a gray day out there, yeah. you know, and some of us had a little bit of that rain, but at least we're a little bit warmer. We were in the 50s yesterday. We have 60s uh, for most of us right now. Here's how we look over the plaza. Lots of clouds, and we've been talking about that election day was going to be a cloudy day. There have been a few showers, but most of us are dry. 65 degrees, that's our current temperature. We have that south wind at 9 miles an hour. So our temperatures around the metro, I'd say maybe light jacket weather, 60 degrees in Lee Summit, 62 for Raytown and Independence, Blue Springs, you're at 61, 59 for Olathe and Gardner, 61 for Stanley, Overland Park at 61 degrees, Leewood at 62, DeSoto, low 60s as well. Heading up towards Lansing, 63, same for Leavenworth and Baser, Tonganoxie, we're at 61, then Platte City, Parkville, low to mid 60s, 63 degrees in Gladstone, Liberty, you're currently in those lower 60s as well. 61 in Trenton, we're at 63 for uh, Atchison, 58 degrees for Paola. So pretty uniform temperatures, typical when you have a lot of clouds overhead. We have seen a couple of showers here and there, but they're mainly south of the metro, closer to Lacine and Butler. So if you are going to be heading out to the poles over the next hour or so, mainly south of the metro, take the umbrella with you just to be on the safe side as we do have that chance of sprinkles between now and about 6 p.m. Otherwise, a cloudy evening and notice the temperatures, they're going to stay put. We will hang out near 60 degrees for the rest of the evening into our morning tomorrow. From there, lingering clouds early Wednesday morning. We'll see more sunshine starting to pop out tomorrow afternoon, and that will help our temperatures get into the mid 70s. The record high for tomorrow, by the way, 78 degrees set back in 1999. We will be close, so a warm day. We get the sunshine. It'll also be windy too, so notice that wind out of the south at 20 miles an hour. We will have those gusts up near 35 miles an hour, so warm and windy. Thursday, late morning through the afternoon, we have the possibility of a few severe thunderstorms, so that's why Thursday is an impact day. And looking at future scan, you'll see as we head towards the middle of the day, we'll start to watch for maybe a thin line of showers and thunderstorms. It'll be windy again on Thursday. Notice the temperatures. I put them on here for you near 70 degrees. This is midday Thursday. Then as we head into the afternoon again, watching for a fast moving thin line of thunderstorms. Notice the temperatures. They start to fall. So by 5 p.m. We may be hanging out upper 40s to near 50 degrees and then really dropping off those temperatures the later in the evening that we go on Thursday. Eventually by Friday morning, 25 degrees. So we go from 70 Thursday afternoon, that strong cold front rolls through to 25 to start off Veterans Day high of only 38 degrees. Wind chills in the 20s the entire day. Chilly temperatures through the weekend, even Chief Sunday high of 42 degrees and those highs will stay near 40 through much of next week.